Do not think about what you have been unable to achieve. Think about what you want to achieve and you will achieve it. How many times have we stolen our own joy by thinking about what we have been unable to achieve? Instead, like we are going to talk about today, think about what you want to achieve. Let the magic happen and you will have. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kathy Owen. I have been a certified fitness trainer and certified life coach since 2002, teaching Stop the Mind Screw process. On this channel, we talk about fitness, having a growth mindset, habits, and even some reality transurfing. Today's Tuesday, so we are talking transurfing on Tuesday. Today, we're talking about how to have what you want reality transurfing style. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you never miss content from me and give this video a like. Let's get into the episode. Here's the quote of today. To align your will with a negative thought machine means to play the game of a destructive pendulum and radiate energy at its frequency. This is a very detrimental habit. It is entirely in your interest to replace it with the habit of consciously controlling your thoughts. Whenever your mind is unoccupied, when you are traveling, going for a walk, or doing work that does not require deep concentration, make sure you program yourself to think positive thoughts. Do not think about what you have been unable to achieve. Think about what you want to achieve, and you will achieve it. Vadim Zeeland, Reality Transurfing 1 through 5. A detrimental habit. Our thought habits are the most powerful habits we have. But do we ever stop to consider what our thought habits are? In today's world, we are easily driven off our path by the lure of the internet, the distraction of something outside of our control, or even something as simple as a text or a phone call. So what is one to do? Vadim says, it is entirely in your interest to replace it with the habit of consciously controlling your thoughts. Enter a mental diet. The first time I heard of a mental diet was in the fall of 2019. A mental diet is a habit of refusing to entertain any negative thoughts. As soon as you notice inner thoughts telling a negative story, you immediately replace them. Like a regular diet, mental diets require discipline and attention, and they're best done in short stints, which can help you to kickstart a new way of thinking. I decided to do my seven-day mental diet during Christmas. Christmas time is a time of triggers for me. This was perfect for me, actually, and the mental diet was easier than I anticipated. While I did encounter negative thoughts about myself and others, I found it very refreshing to remind myself that I do not have to think that thought. Instead, I chose another more empowering thought to replace it. Simply put, a mental diet is one where you do not dwell on the negative thought. We all have negative thoughts. We are human. Dwelling on those negative thoughts, though, is what hurts us. If by chance I had a thought that was particularly persistent, I would jot it down. And I tell myself, I will work on this and we'll talk about this in a minute. This helped me not to dwell. Are you on our email list? Consider joining today. We offer exclusive stories that relate to the Transurfing on Tuesday episode, a download on how to deal with pendulums and identify your destructive and even your constructive pendulums so you can spend your energy where you want. Bonus content on Stop the Mind Screw and Reality Transurfing include a mental diet resource guide, a definite chief aim template, and more. Link in the description and show notes below. It's at kathyowen.com backslash reality dash transurfing. I hope to see you there. Let's get back to the episode. 
I especially love this quote from the book, a, The Charisma Myth by Olivia Fox Cobain, and it relates so well to today's episode. Don't assume your thoughts are accurate. Just because your mind comes up with something doesn't necessarily mean it has any validity. Assume you're missing a lot of elements, many of which could be positive. She continues to say this. See your thoughts as graffiti on a wall or as little electro pulses flickering around your brain. Assign a label to your negative experience, self-criticism, anger, anxiety, etc. Just naming what you are thinking and feeling can help you neutralize it. Depersonalize the experience. So rather than saying, I'm feeling ashamed, try, there is shame being felt. Think of those negative thoughts as a mind screw. The Stop the Mind Screw process looks like this, and I use this process for every problem I encounter, big or small, and it works wonders. It will transform your life in magic fashion. Step one is to define exactly what you want. Step two is go on a seven-day mental diet. And steps one and two are actually bonus downloads when you sign up at kathyowen.com backslash reality dash transurfing. Step three is consider your self-talk. And step four is also similar. And it is, what are your thought habits? I coach on habits all the time. Why? Because if you can control your habits, you control your life. Habits are done unconsciously. Our brains do not know the difference between a good habit or a bad habit. And habits are created to keep us safe. If we control our thought habits, we control our life. Oftentimes, I find that most people are unaware of their thought habits. It's going to be a long day, I hear. Or why bother? No one will even care. Or prices are going up and I'll never be able to afford that. I might as well give up. I've tried over and over again to no avail. These thoughts are not true. But if you go around consciously or even unconsciously repeating them to yourself, you will bring them to yourself. You will have a long day. No one will care. You won't be afraid to, you won't be able to afford that, and you will give up. Henry Ford was attributed to saying this powerful quote, whether you think you can or cannot, you are correct. There is a better way. But like Vadim says, it is entirely up to you. Step number five in Stop the Mind Screw process is rewrite and reframe those thoughts and stories. We discussed the pruning shears of revision by Neville Goddard in the Stop the Mind Screw process. This step is beneficial when obsessive thoughts come in. Remember how I said while doing a mental diet, we don't want to dwell on the negative thought? Any thought that gets a lot of negativity out of myself, I will jot it down and then later rewrite them with the pruning shears of revision. This is a powerful step. I have a link to that lecture of Neville's in the description and show notes today. Step six is get in flow or get in the zone. The entire premise of Stop the Mind Screw is to get and flow. Flow is where challenge meets skill. And Mihai Csikszentmihalyi wrote this quote, and it is on my homepage, and it's from the book Flow. Control your inner experience, and you will be able to determine the quality of your life, which is as close as any of us can come to being happy. This is exactly what we are discussing today. So it is entirely in your interest to replace it with the habit of consciously controlling your thoughts. Whenever your mind is unoccupied, when you are traveling, going for a walk, or doing work that does not require deep concentration, make sure that you program yourself to think positive thoughts. All right, that's my episode for today. If you know someone who can benefit from this, please share it with them. And thank you for spending part of your day with me. And until next time, I'll see you next time. Peace out and namaste.